hey what's up so if you're making a third person game and you might want to switch views for example have a first person a third person and another different view today I'm gonna show you how to do exactly that so here we're gonna have three different views a third person one a back one and a first person one so I'm gonna show you how this is going to look at the end so here you have the, the for the third person one when I click T you can change this key you have the third person the first person one when I click T again you sp switch back to the um, to the third person one and when I click B it switches to the back view now you can also switch from the back view from the first from the first person so why I have a different key uh, for the back key why don't I use just T um, the back key I I'm gonna use it um, for when you're for example when you're when you're running away from something and you wanna look back you click B instead of clicking T and then going to first person and third person it, it might just uh, make it harder for you so it's easier just to have a, a B key and a different key for the back one so let me just show you what I mean so for example um, you have this character over here and he starts chasing you you want to run away uh, see I can't see him now but when I click B I can see him from behind but the way we do this um, we have a script that I wrote let me just find it so switch view in the script we have a few things it's it's not that hard uh, link will be in the description for all my assets that I use in these videos which you can download copy or whatever or um, make them different it's all up to you so what I do in this script I have a few uh, variables camera a first person camera a third person camera and a back camera the serialized field just makes it so I can access it and um, um, put the camera which I want put the camera that I want in the, um, uh, the hierarchy the variables so the switch cam uh, the private bool switch cam is false and that bool stands for um, when you click T um, I'll show you later but it's for switching uh, from the first person to the third person view back cam it's for switching from any view to the back cam for, to the back cam yeah so void start here we have a first person a camera we just get the components of all three of the cameras so we can switch and access them later in the update function so in the update function I have an uh, first an if statement so I if I uh, click T you can change this if you want so switch cam is um, the opposite of the switch cam and that just makes it so when I click T um, I'm gonna change from one to another and back cam is false so whatever happens back cam is going to be false if I click T but and if switch and here uh, I just state if um, what happens when the switch cam is true and what happens if the back cam is true etc so here as well I have for the back cam I have a uh, if uh, you get you click B the switch cam is false so you you um, aren't in the third person view or the first person view you're in the back view so here I say if the switch cam is true, first person on PC camera get component. Um, I'm just um, stating these from the start, so I'm just going to change them up here. So the first PC camera get component camera enabled is true. So if it's true, the first person camera is true, because from the start inspect from the start function, I said that the third person camera is true by default and when you start the game you're gonna be in the third person view so when we click T we want to switch to the first person view so um, else if so if the back cam is true um, nor neither the third person camera or the first person camera are true but the back camera is um, but the ca back camera is true and else so if none of these happen else we have the f the third person camera is enabled equals true and the back camera false and the first person so how we set this up is we have three different cameras we attach the script on the third person controller here it is and we have to say which camera is which so here i have the first person camera as a, a child of the head and um let me just see 
I have a mouse look Y because you might not need this if you have only like a capsule collider but if you want a realistic um, head bob like I have here um, you you should attach it to the head and as you can see when I play the animations it actually um, has the head bob from the head when you run so the head bob is lower when you walk as you can see and you can also crouch jump etc uh, the the back camera I have it I just have it as a child object of the third person controller and when I click B it's just over here it follows me I had then had the functionality of um, making it not go through walls and that's basically how this thing works if you if the video helped you um, go ahead and click the like button also subscribe if you have any questions tell me in the comments and yeah I'll see you later have a nice day bye I'm high as I've ever been, higher than heaven sits Roll up my weed and think about my exes and jealousness How to stay current and relevant, this be my story, I'm selling it